Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on proof. This is the last video on the topic and we're just going to run through a couple of examples of algebraic proof in this video, seeing as though these are by far the most common types of proof questions. So here we want to prove that the square of an odd number is also odd and to do that we're going to use the piece of logic that 2n plus 1, where n is any integer, is going to be an odd number and that's because 2 times an integer is going to be even, seeing as though all multiples of 2 are even and then if you add 1 to an even number you get an odd number. So this is uh, quite fundamental really to algebraic proof. So we're going to square this 2n plus 1 uh, seeing as though we want to find the square of an odd number. So 2n plus 1 squared we can rewrite as 2n plus 1, 2n plus 1, so a set of double brackets uh, and we want to use a FOIL method here for expanding double brackets uh, to do the expansion. So that's first which is uh, 2n times 2n which gives us 4n squared then outside which is 2n times 1 which gives us 2n then inner which is 1 times 2n again that gives us 2n and last is 1 times 1 which gives us 1 so let's just collect like terms here so we get 4n squared plus 4n plus 1 so these 2n's add up to get 4n so we've got 4n squared plus 4n plus 1 uh, and then we can take out a factor of 2 here we could take out a factor of 4 if we want uh, but we want to try and put this in the same form as before so we've got two lots of uh, 2n squared plus 2n, so close the bracket, plus 1. So effectively, this is in the same form here as 2n plus 1, where this uh, 2n squared plus 2n is going to be just a generic integer. So we've got 2 times a generic integer plus 1, which equals odd. So moving on to the second example then, we have to prove that n plus 2 squared minus n minus 2 all squared is divisible by 8 for any positive whole number n. So uh, let's just rewrite this expression but as two sets of double brackets. So we've got n plus 2 times n plus 2 and we're subtracting n minus 2 times n minus 2. Now I'm using square brackets here uh, because we've got some minuses in these double brackets and we're subtracting the, the whole set uh, and it's going to get confusing if we don't use some more brackets. Uh, so that will become clear in a second but here let's just use the foil method to expand the brackets on the left first of all so n times n gives us n squared n times plus 2 gives us plus 2n plus 2 times n gives us plus 2n and plus 2 times plus 2 gives us plus 4 so i'll put that in some brackets and we're subtracting uh, n my, sorry n times n which is n squared uh, and then n times minus 2 which is minus 2n minus 2 times n another minus 2n and minus 2 times minus 2 which is plus 4 so now it's starting to get messy with the pluses and the minuses uh, but here we're going to collect some like terms so we've got n squared plus 2n oh sorry plus 4n this should be now uh, seen as though 2n plus 2n is 4 or 4n sorry and then plus 4 on the end and then we're subtracting n squared and then minus 2n minus 2n gives us minus 4n and then we're adding the 4 on the end. Uh, so actually we can remove this set of brackets now. Uh, but this is where uh, it becomes useful to have the brackets. So we've got n squared plus 4n plus 4. And then we're subtracting minus n. And then minus minus 4n gives us plus 4n. And minus 4 gives us minus 4. So if we rewrite this on the next line and collect the like terms. n squared minus n squared. Uh, there's no n, n squared terms left. 4n plus 4n gives us 8n and 4 minus 4 gives us 0. So we're left with 8n which is obviously a multiple of 8 uh, so therefore this is divisible by 8 so that's all you need to do uh, to show that it's divisible by 8. If you want to practice some proof exam style questions you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform and here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll get instant feedback on so you can keep track of your progress and find out what you need to do in order to improve your actual exam. So if this is something you're interested in, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.